Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel, Zed Chemistry. I am Sheikh Zul Islam, teacher of high school Shan. Today we are going to discuss about the last topic from this, from this chapter, that is reproduction in plants. And the name of the topic is dispersal of seeds. So after the uh, process of fertilization or po after post fertilization period, what happens? This uh, ovary it gets developed into a fruit, <coughs> and uh, all other parts of the plant they either get uh, uh, they uh, fall down, and this uh, ovary, or uh, we can state that this ovary then gets converted into a fruit, and uh, these fruits uh, they get uh, dis dispersed. Uh, some of uh, some of the fruits are uh, they are being harvested. For commercial purpose, whereas in uh, certain fruits, what happened? Uh, there occurs the dispersal of these uh, you know, fruits, and uh, when there occurs the dispersal of the fruits, most of the ripe and fruits they get dis dispersed from this uh, main um, plant body, and uh, seeds fall from them. They get um, scattered here and there, and these seeds then germinate into the new plants, and that process is called as the dispersal of seeds. So this. And dispersal of seeds is a process in which the after the ripening of the fruits, the fruits they get detached from the main plant body and get us uh, fell down. Whereby seeds uh, come out from these fruits and get us uh, converted into the new plant, which adds the biodiversity of any uh, area or uh, that increases the biodiversity of any biosphere reserve. And this dispersal of seeds. It is uh, usually occur. It, it usually occur by uh, certain uh, uh, abiotic factors like wind and water, and uh, uh, some biotic factors. In a, certain animals uh, are also responsible for the dispersal of these uh, seeds. And uh, if we will uh, look at the wind, uh, look at the wind. We can also call. We, we can we can also use the word air there. That air is also responsible, or we can state that the moving air, or the air which has. Uh, uh, which has certain speed that is also responsible for the dispersal of these uh, seeds. <coughs> water or running water, it is also responsible for the dispersal of seeds. Besides this, the animals, they are also responsible for the dispersal of seeds. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, we will see in case of uh, wind. These, uh, uh, the wind usually carries with it the light seeds are the seeds which are not of uh, so much weight or the uh, weeds are, are, are the seeds uh, which are which are having uh, hairy uh, hairy growths or hairy uh, hairy outer outlets on their body are responsible for the dispersal of seeds for example if we will look at uh, the seeds uh, there are maple and drumstick maple and drumstick seeds or the seeds which are which which get uh, dispersed uh, by the uh, wind and uh, when there is wind or uh, when air moves at a very fast speed these seeds as they are very light they are taken by air to any distant place whereby uh, uh, they get the favorable conditions for their germination and are converted into the new plants besides this there are oak seeds or uh, we can state that there are hairy seeds which are taken by the wind with them and uh, as these uh, as these seeds are very easy to take and i can take these uh, hairy seeds or oak seeds uh, easily with them uh, to any distant place whereby they are uh, they get germinated into new plants then uh, there is water the water is also responsible for the dispersal of seeds and uh, if we will see that uh, uh, there the seed the seed must be the heavy seed it must not be any light seed because the seed that will this uh, that will submerge into the water and there will be no dispersal dis, dis, dispersal of this particular seed in this heavy seeds like uh, coconut seeds like the seeds of coconut uh, plant or we can state that the coconut balls they are uh, basically removed or they are uh, moved uh, from one place to another place by the help of water whereby they get the favorable conditions for their germination animals animals uh, are uh, they responsible certain animals uh, uh, which uh, eat fruits or uh, some animals are those which have long hair whenever they move through these uh, plants these spiny seeds they get stuck into their fur they get stuck into their fur and they that uh, seeds 
are then removed uh, removed by the animals um, themselves or they are removed by the by any other uh, person and these seeds they fell down and it gets uh, germinated into new plants examples are xanthum uh, xanthium and arena besides this these animals uh, they, uh, they these uh, seeds uh, when, uh, when 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 food gets ripened due to sudden uh, jerk these seeds get uh, get uh, scattered they get scattered all over and are germinated into new plants and are germinated into new plants when food gets ripened uh, due to sudden jerk these seeds get uh, scattered all over the all over their uh, body or, or in the surroundings of their body and get uh, germinated into parent plants once they get the favorable conditions for uh, their germination examples of such seeds are balsam and uh, castor seeds or in case of balsam plant and castor plants so that was all about today's topic have a nice day